Most people don't spend a lot of time in the settings menu unless you're like me and you want to test and tweak everything. Now that you have some time on your hands, let's take a look around under the hood. For this episode, we will be using the default Pro Skin. If you use a different skin or layout, the menu buttons may not look the same or be in the same place. Many of the things I will be covering today will require an internet connection. Once you've opened the settings menu, you will see a list of tabs on the left side. Starting at the top tab, you will see Tutorials. Virtual DJ gives you a bunch of short tutorial videos that covers just about everything you would want to know how to do or about Virtual DJ. All can be watched without leaving the program, and it even gives you a button that takes you directly to Virtual DJ's YouTube page for more great videos, including one where DJ Kubert discovers his love for Virtual DJ. All right, Virtual DJ, you're my new friend. Next on the list is audio. This is where you can set, adjust, and save settings from different setups that you might use Virtual DJ with. Save settings from each controller or mixer you might use, sound from the laptop only settings, external sound card settings, line in settings, and control vinyl settings. All can be saved and brought back up with the drop down menu and then hit apply. Next is interface. In this area, you can preview and pick what skins you might want to use, try different video skins for video DJing, an edit button for exporting a copy of that skin for you to edit and use later, and a get more button for each area that will take you to the extensions tab that we will cover in just a minute. Next is controller. This area lets you view and edit all your MIDI settings for both controllers and keyboard shortcuts. I can't tell you how much easier it is with this tab than it was with the older virtual DJs. Next is options and tweaks. This is one of my favorite areas. Virtual DJ is awesome because you can make anything work the way you want it to. In this area, there are check boxes and drop down settings for everything you can imagine. Make sure you check out my Virtual DJ How To Episode 5 for 10 options and tweaks in Virtual DJ and Episode 11 for my custom Virtual DJ options and tweaks. Next is licenses. This area shows you what Virtual DJ license you have and gives you access to Virtual DJ's online music streaming catalogs. As you see, I'm a subscriber to the music streaming catalog from IDJ Pool. After that is the extensions area that I had mentioned before. Without leaving the program, Virtual DJ lets you sort through and download pretty much every add-on or extension that Virtual offers. All are searchable and sortable, divided into categories, with the ability for direct install or uninstall and direct update button when changes have been made. Next is Broadcast that lets you broadcast video and audio directly to a broad range of destinations including Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, Vimo, Musical.ly, Icecast, Shoutcast, and directly to Virtual DJ's website in the radio show and podcast areas for other VDJ users to browse and listen. Next is another area that I use a lot, Record. This lets you record live as you DJ, saving either audio or video in a wide range of formats. And finally, Remote. Many of you might not know that Virtual DJ has its own companion app when connected to the same Wi-Fi as your laptop that lets you take control of Virtual DJ running on your laptop from your mobile device. Although it's not easy to do anything fancy, it will let you do everything that the program can do from across the room. That's it for this episode of VDJ How To. If you guys have any ideas for future shows, feel free to drop me a line. But in the meantime, please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notifications for future episodes. Until next time, this is DJ Michael Joseph saying take care and God bless.